guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're watching Avatar The Last Airbender, the live action Netflix series. Do the thing. <laughs> hey guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we are watching episode two of season one of Avatar The Last Airbender, the live action Netflix series. Warriors. Episode two is Warriors, which I know means the Kyoshi Warriors. We are headed to Kyoshi Island. Kyoshi is by far my favorite avatar, and I don't really know much about her, but I will because uh, Jordan sent me the novels, the Kyoshi novels, and also the Yang Chen novels. So uh, I'm going to get get my read on and learn about all my girl avatars because I know Kyoshi is fierce. Like her books are probably, if I were to guess, it's like murder, 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 murk, murder, 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 mercy, murk, murder. Uh, so she, she definitely is a, uh, killer <laughs> to where Aang is a very nice, sweet boy. And he's an airbender. He's very Zen. He doesn't want to kill. Uh, so they, they, they couldn't be two different avatars, but, um, I still love Kyoshi because, uh, Kyoshi Island, the way it was created, the way the warriors uh, all do their makeup in honor of Kyoshi, uh, it just everything in Suki. And I know with this being warriors, obviously we're going to Kyoshi Island, which means that we are going to be meeting Suki, who is my girl. Uh, I, I'm very excited for this, um, especially because, you know, it does take place very early on in season one when we go to Kyoshi Island. Um, and I, I'm, I'm excited because I know that Sokka very much is a changed person after this episode. Uh, if you are not familiar with the animated series, you wouldn't really know that like Sokka has been known to be a little bit sexist. Uh, he thinks that, you know, uh, laundry is woman's work. Cooking is woman's work. Uh, he's a warrior. He's been training to be a warrior his whole life. It's all he knows. That's all the way the women were in his village. They were either old women or they were young or there was Katara, who is his sister, who probably was the person that was, was definitely the person that, like, especially in the last episode when he says like, 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 don't you have things that you have to do or take care of? And, you know, it's just the way he was raised. And I know that there's a lot of ire out there about his storyline being different. I don't think it's going to be different in the way of like, he's just not going to be that way. I think it's just not going to be so blatantly obvious. And let's just face it, the animated series, there's no way that he could just throw pants at Katara and say, this is women's work. There's just no way, right? Uh, it would not be well received. It wouldn't look good. And it would almost look cheesy or goofy. So I still think he's going to go through kind of this change in experiencing these Kyoshi warriors, these female warriors that are fierce and tough and can hold their own and beat him. And we saw him fight Zuko and, you know, he's very brave. He puts himself out there. He, he was just, he was unmatched. And, uh, you know, I, th I think getting his butt kicked by Suki and the rest of the warriors and learning a thing or two from them can only help him become that warrior that we know and love. Uh, so that that's the, the most exciting part for me is just that whole Suka. Suka? <laughs> Why don't I just combine their names? Uh, the whole Sokka Suki storyline. Now, obviously, Aang, uh, you know, he, he just went through something really uh, heavy in the first episode. And I'm really glad that we focused on him and got a lot of the backstory, not only why he ran away, who he is, what his destiny was, who was meaningful in his life then, who's going to be meaningful in his life now. Um, Appa is the only thing that is carried over and everybody else he knows and loves are dead and gone. So, you know, that, that has to traumatize a kid. And I, I will say that like, there might be some people that might tear apart acting. They might tear apart like the physicality of stuff. Their kids give them some grace. You know, no one comes straight out of the gate just being awesome at a certain age, uh, especially with acting and having the physicality associated with it. And this weight, you know, we, we talk about the weight that Aang has on his shoulders that, you know, he's supposed to save the world and the Fire Nation. We see how horrible the Fire Nation is, you know, that the, the fact that like they they just destroyed an entire civilization, caused a mass genocide in the first episode of the show, you know, I can only say that Gordon has an incredibly heavy weight on his shoulders. So just extend that grace. 
That's all I'm going to say. But I thoroughly enjoyed the first episode. I, I will say that, like, they changed the story and I'm okay with it. Um, they gave Aang his whistle in the first episode, which I know happens way later on. Um, and, and that's okay. Like, that's not really uh, of consequence. And, and uh, I, I like that we're learning about what happened at the Southern Air Temple instead of waiting. And I know that, like, it kind of builds, like, a mystery as to, like, what's up with this kid? But I think knowing his story right away and knowing what the goal is in mind and getting it out of the way is actually a really smart writing choice. Um, and we'll see how the rest of the season goes. I'm going into it with a lot of love and excitement, not expecting it to be a carbon copy because, like, you can't take a cartoon and make it live action and it be the same. It would look absolutely ridiculous if our live action characters acted like animated characters and vice versa. So I am super excited to get into this episode, guys. So let's get into it. And my tissue count last episode was four. So we'll see what it is this one. I might not cry at all. I, I definitely think the uh, first episode was maybe just really like touching to me and I might get excited, like super excited. Uh, but I, I don't know if the crying is going to be a constant thing. It typically is. I don't, I don't know why I'm warning you guys that I might not cry. Chances are I will cry. But we'll keep a tissue count. Okay, <laughs> let's get into it. I'm really happy with Zuko from the, the first episode. They didn't make him overly bratty and cartoonish. Did I speak too soon? I'm sure it'll turn. Sure did. You probably just misplaced it. Oh, his notebook that Aang took. Your notebook may have been useful in collecting your thoughts, but your unceasing effort is what led you to the Avatar. He ran! Whoa. The ultimate warrior! He's a coward! I don't know about that. Yeah, me either. But it's clear that this Avatar is not what you nor anyone else would have expected. It's very true. He's a kid, just like you. It is precisely because we are in a more quiet part of the world that we have an advantage. How many places can there be for an avatar to hide? Iroh's so smart. Calming his nephew down. Kiyoshi Island is only a few hours from here. According to this, Avatar Kiyoshi was the fiercest of warriors and the master of what they called the Avatar State. Love it. Maybe something in her shrine will help me control my power before... You kill someone? Oop. Oh, well... Before it happens again. <laughs> Easy, Sokka. It's about more than just helping Aang. Ever since he came into our lives, things have changed for me. Before I met him, I couldn't bend enough water to fill a thimble. And now look what I can do. And that's after a single day. Yep. You gotta let her explore it. Look around. I don't know about you, but I can't go back. I love this Katara so much. She's so full of heart. Is this a Momo? <laughs> Katara, something's wrong with your bag. Is Sokka gonna try to eat him? <laughs> Shenanigans. That's our food. What is that? A winged lemur. Uh huh. The sky used to be filled with them. Momo. What's this? Oh, the scroll's just right there? Did Grand Grand slip My it in her bag? Katara, this scroll has been passed down among the waterbenders of our tribe for generations. It contains everything you need to know to begin your bending education. You have no idea how hard it's been to keep this from you. But with the Fire Nation hunting for benders, it was just too dangerous for you to have. Yep. But now that you've gone out into the world, you should take what belongs to you. You are a waterbender. That is who you have always been and always will be. Well, that didn't take long. Never forget that. Never forget who you are. See, this never would have happened if we hadn't left home. Yep. Fine, we'll go to Kiyoshi Island and see how it goes. And then you're going to fall in love, boy. <laughs> My whole life, you were there for me. And I wasn't there for you. Goodbye, Gyatso. I'm sorry. Gordon, you're doing so good. Oh, well, damn it. 
My eyes are just going to be puffy for like five days while I watch this. Oh, this opening is so cool. Oh, I love it. Oh. Sure does. Just like how you look like a soccer? Can't argue with that. Nope. <laughs> Bet you taste like chicken. Oh! <laughs> Fire Nation stop. Very exciting. Zuko, you must try this. It's got. What's it called? <laughs> Quail pole egg. Quail pole egg. Very good for. Vitality. Oh. Vitality! <laughs> <laughs> I love Uncle Iroh. What are we doing here, Uncle? Wait, Lotus Tile? This port houses the headquarters of the regional Fire Nation Command. Oh, Xiao. One thing you must learn is how to get what you want without divulging your true intentions. Mm -hmm. You must use your tact, your empathy. Mm. But most importantly, you need to have sticky rice. Oh, yeah, that wasn't what I expected. <laughs> Uncle, there's no time for this. Oh, I already love these two together. It's different, but I still like it. There she is. Giant scary lady. Oh, you just wait. Oh. Oh, she's such a cool bitch. Oh, I love her. Sokka, should you just go in there? Yep, apparently. Oh, here they come. <laughs> Saga, watch out! Hey! Butt kicked! You are trespassing on sacred ground. Stop! He's the Avatar! There would have been signs if he was the Avatar. Oh, show the signing! Show the sign, Kyoshi! <laughs> I think that might be a sign. It definitely is. Hey, Suki girl. Kiyoshi Island has remained safe from the ravages of war by keeping to ourselves. Sorry, Yuki A. <laughs> Cruddy kid. All I want is to learn more about Avatar Kiyoshi. Same. If I can learn to be the Avatar, maybe I could bring a world where people were happier back. My God, I love him. It's a big responsibility, all these people's lives in your hand. Personally, I take that responsibility very seriously. <laughs> you selling yourself I, uh, to your I'm new girl? My village too, so. You. Yep. Oh. So how are you protecting your people if you're here? What? By not. helping the Avatar. I mean, I, I am. I may, I may not physically be there, uh, but still. That is, I'm... <laughs> I have to save the world first. Yeah, reasonable explanation. Katara, how does it go again? I'm protecting Aang, so I'm protecting the village? Or is that... <laughs> we have a lot in common. We're both warriors, right? Before she died, Avatar Kyoshi trained an elite force in her image. That tradition has been passed down through the generations, and it is now my honor to protect this community and to uphold the values of the Avatar. That is why I'm not just a warrior. I'm a Kyoshi warrior. <laughs> Cat got your tongue? <laughs> I love that for us. Where's your commander? I need recent surveillance reports and maps. Nautical maps. The more detailed, the better. Is this show? Prince Zuko? What an honor. What can I do for the crown prince? As my nephew was saying, we are in search of maps and surveillance <sighs> reports. We're hoping to track schools of jumping shark squids. Smooth. Shark squids. Mm. They're migrating this time of year. Oh, Just let him be a silly, kooky old man. With a touch of lemon. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind giving me until the morning, I'm sure we can track down what you need. Very kind. Uh, Commander Zhao. Commander Zhao. <laughs> At your service. Hate that guy. What are you thinking, Zhao? Yeah, he knows something's up. That sucks. Oh, hello. I used to put a bell on you. <laughs> There's food in the village hall. Is he naked naked? 
No, okay. <laughs> Sokka. <laughs> Oh, he's just like Sokka. I love it. I love it so much. Oh. Okay, I thought it was going to hit somebody in the face. You're natural. Well, these are just the easy forms. It's more than you could do before. You're a real waterbender, Katara. You know, you should be practicing too. Yep. Oh, boy. You're going to regret that one. Maybe later. Oh. I can't imagine what it's like knowing you'll have to save the world. Heavy burden. Avoiding practice doesn't mean you'll avoid the responsibility. I know. It's just, Gyatso used to be the one who trained me. Never really trained with anyone else. We'll do this together. We're not going anywhere. Hmm. Oh. Or you could just let me use you for target practice. <laughs> you can learn to defend yourself against a waterbender. So obviously he's not going to ride the uh, big, uh, oh god, what was it? It wasn't a koi fish, it was a, uh, it was something else. Yeah! <laughs> not home cooking, but not bad. Always oh, eating this kid. Just try that Gentro stick. <laughs> oh, air scooter time! I do remember that from the trailer. He has a way with people. Mm -hmm. That's his real power. Connection. That's how he's gonna be the Avatar. <laughs> there goes the savior of the world. Oh, Sokka becomes a believer. Just you wait. I want to see him boomerang it and come back. Ah! Oh. Bell. Seriously? Bell. <laughs> Reminds me of Ringo from Blue Eye Samurai. <gasps> yep. Just throw it. Oh, here we go. Wow. I'm not um, upset. That was pretty good. Uh huh. That was pretty good. Us Southern Water Tribe Warriors are known more for our hand-to-hand -hand fighting anyway. Oh, here we go. Oh, right. Now? <laughs> She's flirting with you, boy. Put him in a dress now. Back home, the other kids used to say I was lucky because I never really had to train. But I did have to train to keep them under control. Whoa. I'm sorry. But why are they practicing so close to an edge anyway? What if I never learn how to control my power? How many people will I hurt? <gasps> but imagine what'll happen if you don't even try. All the previous avatars are incarnations of your past lives. You are literally not alone. The other avatars are inside you. You want someone to teach you, you just need to figure out how to connect to them. The answers aren't inside you. Oh my here. god, is he gonna connect to Kyoshi? I can't. I can't. Xiao's boom. It's gone. He heard something about a flying cow near Kyoshi Island, so he set sail at dawn. Flying cow, Appa. He knows. About the Avatar, somehow he found out. We have to get there before him. Good luck. <gasps> Stop! Ooh, we've been waiting for this! Put him in a dress. We're not gonna get him in a dress. I'm very upset. I want him in the dress with the makeup. Down low. There you go. <laughs> Cute. 
I still liked it when he had to do the makeup in the dress, though. Hey. <laughs> It's about time. Oh my god, I'm so excited. We're approaching Kyoshi Island. Hey, chops. <laughs> that facial hair's gotta go. Ooh. I think you're getting the hang of it. Headbutt him. <laughs> Are you? You need to turn your opponent's power against them. Reflect their strength. Mm hmm The truth is, I envy you. I've always wondered what the world outside was like, but I never had the courage to leave. I've always wondered what I'd find. Now I know. Yep, someone's coming. It's the town alarm. Someone's coming. Yep. I love that they kept the Fire Nation music. I really do. We're too late. There's no way around Zhao's men. He'll have made it to the village by now. What do you see, Iro? Knowledge of your opponent, knowing where he might go, is more important than speed. And so, where there is one avatar, there may be another. Yep. Zhao is going to the village. Zuko is going to the tower. The statue. Such a lovely island. Shut up. We are quite unprepared for guests. That's not what I'd heard. I understand you had an unexpected visitor just the other day. We like keeping to ourselves. Yes, I've heard Kiyoshi Island has had an admirable history of staying insignificant. Screw you. You and your men are the only outsiders here. An unfortunate perspective. You won't mind if we take a look ourselves. I hate Joe. Oh! Take him and find the avatar! <laughs> Tragedy awaits the north, and unless you do something about it, another race of benders will be wiped out just as the air nomads were. You ask me what it means to be the avatar. It means being a warrior, a mighty, merciless, merciless. warrior. Merc. Just merc everyone. Nice! Go, Momo, go! <laughs> oh my god, Suki's mom is amazing. Nice. Go, team! Love it! Love it! Avoid your duties any longer, and not only will you fail to save the world, you won't even be able to save this island from the danger you've put them in right now. Yeah. My friends. Yeah, go back. Nice, girl. Oh, gosh. Oh, boy. Zuko, you angry boy. I warned you. No one's going to stand in my way except you want the to avatar know about the power of the avatar i will show you what that power can do kiyoshi oh my god <laughs> you know all about her you did your research <laughs> oh my god, it makes me so happy! <laughs> oh. The music! Now. 
Oh, Kyoshi, that bitch. She that bitch. Hey, girl. Pull back. back to the yeah, bye bye. Oh my god. Oh my god, I want a Kyoshi movie now. <laughs> right, Suki? <laughs> oh. But did they see Kyoshi or did they see Aang? Oh, that was amazing. This is all my fault. There's nothing here that we've lost that can't be replaced. And you've given us something far more valuable in return. A reason to believe again. <laughs> in our village. In ourselves. <laughs> And in the avatar. Yeah. <laughs> so beautiful. Nice job, Avatar. Uh huh. Thank you, Sokka. For what? For bringing the world to me. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I love that for you. <laughs> oh, man. Uh-huh. <laughs> oh. So this means you don't want to go home anymore? Uh-huh. I'll let you guys have all the fun. <laughs> so don't worry, kid. You don't have to do this alone. You have me, Tara, and a flying ball of fur. Good morning. And Momo. <laughs> really? <laughs> I feel like I walked into that one. Uh huh. <laughs> See, I had no idea the Avatar would be there. Sure. If Your Highness had been more forthcoming earlier, we might have avoided this misunderstanding. I hope. Yeah, blame it on Zuko. Zuko, don't say don't it. Don't tell anyone. Oof. Dangerous. To your supreme eminence. Yeah. The great flame of the world. Uh-huh. I have witnessed these events with my very eyes. That is why I can report an astounding development. One that could change the future of the Fire Nation. The Avatar has returned. I hate that Ozai is hot. Okay, I feel like I failed one tissue, but I feel like um, I got to see my girl Kiyoshi. I did not expect that. So obviously in, in the animated series, that doesn't happen where Kiyoshi is, is the one that d helps defeat everything. It's Aang. But I also understand why they have to kind of do that because uh, Gordon is small and he is young and that is a demanding fight for a child to go through, 100%. Now, you'd be like, Aang did it, so does Gordon. I, I think we have to be a little bit fair and kind of go with the creative license and letting them extend it to, 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 one, obviously to show us Kyoshi with the Kyoshi Warriors on Kyoshi Island, um, but like to just really show like what a different type of avatar she is. And I, I wasn't kidding when I was like, murder, murk, and, and maybe mercy. Apparently no mercy, no mercy. Um, definitely, oh man. It's funny, No Mercy and Tamalin Tamita was uh, Suki's mom. I didn't know that. I didn't realize that she was in this series. I don't think I did. I think I would have been, like, really excited knowing that she was coming up. But the fact that Yukie is in this and and you'd have very much a Cobra Kai, No Mercy, Kyoshi Warrior, Kyoshi Avatar. It's amazing. It's so amazing. Oh, my gosh. It, it just made me so happy. Katara getting the water scrolls from Grand Grand instead of, uh, you know, stealing them from pirates, I think is a good move. It makes it to where she's learning water bending a little bit quicker, picking it up sooner, um, sooner than she normally would at this point in the season. And I don't think it's 100% necessary for them to, you know, go and fight pirates and Zhao and and have some of the, the, the moments that they have in those episodes. So definitely, um, and I, it's so funny though, because seeing Zuko and Iroh, I was like, oh, Iroh's gonna get that white lotus tile. That's not what was happening. Uh, I'm, I'm okay with that move. 
I'm really okay. Like I said, I'm not expecting copy paste. And as long as things make sense, I'm okay with it. And this was a fantastic episode. I absolutely loved this episode. Is it playing on my love for Kiyoshi? Yes. Is it playing on my love for Suki? Yes. Is it playing on my love for Kiyoshi Island? Yes. So, <laughs> but I'm okay with that. As a fan of the show already, I love this. I think anybody else watching this blindly that has no idea anything about Avatar will equally love this episode because they'd be like, who is that? Oh my gosh. Not only is she incredibly mean and fierce and hard with Aang, you know, Aang's used to Monk Gyatso being this nice, light, lovable man. And here he has this teacher that is hard as nails. She's not putting up with anything. We found out that she was an orphan. That's probably in the novels. Um, but like, you know, that like that already makes her a different type of avatar, going through life extremely different. And uh, I'm, I'm so looking forward to reading those books now. Uh, I was already looking forward to reading them, but like even more so now. Uh, yeah, I, I can't tell you enough how much I absolutely loved this episode, but also Suki and Sokka having their moment. And, and like in the show, they dress him up like a Kyoshi warrior. They put on the makeup and the dress. And I was just like, I was like, oh my gosh, I'm so excited for it. They didn't have to do that. Again, that's one of those cheesy things that like, like is really funny in the animated series, but like might be mildly ridiculous in live action. So I'm, I'm also okay with it. But I was like, maybe they will. I was like, I don't know, you know, like, like he might look good in makeup, but uh, I really liked the scenes that they had together. Um, and, you know, him kind of like being, uh, I don't even know if it's scared or just like very confused by like her physicality with him and like her just kind of being like, what? Like we were having a moment, like that's weird. And then, you know, him coming back for more and just being like, okay, like, like teach me, like show me. And him kind of gaining a respect for not only female warriors, but a specific female warrior him meeting her is making him want to help the avatar and him save the world and see the world because she's been confined to this island and you know like this is this is something new for her and her like you know like not only giving him the fan which i thought was fantastic but like telling him like like you're amazing and and, and then having that fight together was just fantastic him deflecting the fire with the fan it's so phenomenal. It's just I'm 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 really happy with this episode. Now the one thing that um we're really showing is Katara and her trauma from what happened to her mother. No, again, spoilers if you don't want to know any of this, you know, skip this part. But you know, she doesn't learn a lot of this, or we don't learn a lot of this until season three. And her kind of showing that now and us knowing this in hindsight. It gives us an insight as to why she behaves that way or like why she's scared or the trauma or, you know, the 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 thing between her and Zuko and why she would fear him so much. It's not necessarily just because she's afraid, but like she's seen it and she's witnessed it and it took somebody that she really, really cared about. Um, and, you know, we don't get to see that happen in the animated series where I'm just like, her mom's gone. Like, like gone like they took her or gone like she's dead. Like it was very unclear. <laughs> which seems to be the case in Avatar, but not in this Avatar. They are straight up killing people, which I think making it very clear, making it very distinct is actually really good. And I know that you can't do that on Nickelodeon, but definitely you can do it here. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm quite happy with that as well. Um, you know, Zuko, I was like, so like giving him kudos. I was like, oh, he's not that bratty teenager where he's just like, you know, throwing tantrums and stuff like we saw. Cause I was like, that would look ridiculous in live action. I wasn't wrong. It did look ridiculous in live action. You know, he's a teenage boy throwing a temper tantrum. It is a sight to behold. Um, especially one that can create fire. We're very lucky that like the whole room didn't go up in smoke. But of course, Iroh being there, talking him off a ledge like he does. He's just one hell of an uncle. He's a calming presence. Uh, he's very much an irritating presence to Zuko because he's just like, and the other thing is, sticky rice and then he's like off to go eat and Zuko's like what like it's good it's good I'm I'm happy with the Iroh that we got I'm happy with the Zuko that we got I'm happy with the Sokka and the Suki that we got and I don't think so I don't think Suka's Suka I keep doing it Suki's mom was in the other one I think it was a male leader of the village and I forget if it was Kiyoshi Island or if it might be where the fortune teller is where the 
person was foaming at the mouth, so excited about the Avatar. Um, but it, I'm glad that they incorporated a lot of things from the animated series, like Aang going and playing with the kids. You know, I don't think he did the air scooter, but he definitely got chased around by kids a lot uh, that were really excited about the Avatar. Um, you know, I, I'm glad that they still incorporated that. I'm glad that they really show him having fun. Now, this is twice that kids have been playing that he's went and joined them and he was a kid himself. So, you know, I hope we still continue to have a lot of those moments because this is definitely a heavier version of the show. It's definitely a darker version in the sense that like, like, you know, they didn't show death before. They didn't show like Kyoshi straight up kill people. <laughs> And I love that for us. Um, you know, so it's definitely a different type of show, but I'm still very pleased with episode two. So far, I'm 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 very happy. The first episode, you know, I definitely give it, you know, five out of five stars. This one also five out of five stars. Um, is it in any way, shape, or form like the original? No, but it definitely has all of those elements, no pun intended, but pun intended, that make it great, that make you love that series. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy that I can love them separately while also loving them together. So, so far, so good. But guys, if you want to watch the full-length reaction to this episode, it will be available on my Patreon. And, and remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. But if you haven't seen the animated series, how are you feeling about the show? Because I think from a blind perspective, this is great. It's interesting as hell. Like, wow, visuals are amazing. The fights are amazing. The bending's amazing. You know, the story is very easy to follow. And, and they could make it overly complicated and just jumping all over the place. And they didn't do that. Uh, so I think that it's good. But let me know if you're blind watching and you're like, well, what, what do other people that have already you know seen Avatar think? Like, what did you think? of this episode and the series so far. Now, if you are a fan of Avatar, which I know is a very loaded question to ask, like, what did you think of this? Um, because I know that there's some people that are very purist and they very much just want to see exactly what they saw in the animated series. There's some people who don't want this show to exist at all. And I totally understand that as well. It's very heartbreaking when they take something that you love and destroy it in your mind. <laughs> it's, it's a lot of people feel that way about a lot of different mediums um but i i will say that like so far we're rocking better than the movie by far um will this ever replace the animated series absolutely not uh but is it good yeah i think so tell me why you don't think so and and if it's because the story changes like it has to work in live action so give it grace and give the actors grace um, because sometimes there's some things that happen that are very cheesy for kids or like moments of pause. Gordon in the beginning when he had tears in his eyes, that was so beautiful. When he's putting the thing on Monk Yatso's grave, so beautiful. You know, and then when he's smiling and happy, like it's just, it's wonderful. It reminds me of Aang, you know, and, and having Momo, like we, we've got our group. We've got our core group of five. Ah, I'm so excited. And if they don't end the series with like the boulder, like, that'd be such a cool way to end the series. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just you wait, because there is something amazing coming your way. But guys, come back here for episode three, and in the meantime, I'll see ya.